Hey everyone, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So, as you can see, I have got some really pretty, natural, minimal, but like glowy makeup on. So I call this the model makeup. Um, this is just effortless. Like it looks so clean, so hydrated, like my skin just looks so fresh. Um, I feel the prettiest when I wear this kind of makeup. It just makes me feel really really pretty um and i've got a little bit of a story time in today's video for you of some exciting news linked to modeling so yeah just kept, stay tuned to hear all about it so naturally i had like modeling on my mind and i was like i really want to do like a model makeup look or like just a minimal makeup look that you can use for work or for the gym or for when you're going out to the shops or running errands or whatever because my motto is no matter what you do or where you should go you should always look your best so this literally can take like 15 minutes there was a few extra steps that i included in this video but um you can take out a few steps so when i do this every day um i don't do the bb cream and like the cream products and stuff but it literally will take me 10 minutes i'll always do this like to go to the gym go to the supermarket whatever it makes me feel good and i've been liking minimal makeup more than like full glam makeup i feel like the foundation like just sinks into all my fine lines it makes me look just old and rugged but like when i do this makeup look i'm just so fresh and glowy and radiant and i feel so pretty also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do I upload every monday at 8 a.m new zealand time and youtube shorts every day um and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more chit chat videos like this because i've been really enjoying filming them all for you um so yeah if you want to see how to get this pretty glowing model makeup look then just keep on watching hey guys so i'm just gonna get stuck straight into it so i fake tanned my face last night so i could match my body this is my skin not washed i'm gonna come back on camera and show what it looks like after using the okana mango sorbet cleanser it's honestly game changing if you want that like glowy smooth looking just like intense shine skin like model looking glowing skin then you need to use this um i'm gonna quickly go and do it and then you'll see the difference and voila here is my skin you probably can't see a difference but like look at this i can see a difference in real life i know i've got acne prone skin right now i'm on my time of the month so it's actually worse than usual i've got so many spots that popped up so i wish that i didn't have acne it's so annoying so i actually promote okana but i genuinely love this product like i've been promoting them for like two years straight now um it's all natural it's like edible um that's how natural it is and it's cruelty free vegan and that's what i love i'm trying to incorporate more natural things into my lifestyle i even went like a darker blonde it doesn't look like it but it is way darker since when you seen me last she actually put brown all through here so i don't have to like get my hair bleached anymore because it's just so bad so i stopped doing that next step is to buy a natural fake tan because it's something that i use all the time and it dries me out but okana for skincare is really good and this honestly works for the glow if you're feeling like dry and crusty and just aged looking use this and use it before doing your makeup too because it'll make your makeup look flawless and i'll just show you what it looks like on the inside it's like a sorbet thing so i thought i'd show this because ah, when you're doing like natural makeup or model makeup you could say um skincare is so important like skincare is actually more important than the makeup products itself so this is the mco beauty miracle bb cream skin perfecting beauty balm and it's in the shade natural medium i really like this I normally put this on with my hands but yeah i might oh no this is fine actually it just gives like that nice light coverage and just kind of um matches your face to your body but it doesn't make you look cakey or packed like i don't really like that look anymore because i don't know the normal foundations are just like going into my pores and my skin and just going into my fine lines just making me look just not nice at all <laughs> so yeah this is the product i need because the lighter the better like if you don't put so much stuff on your face and i thought it was the other way around like oh i'm gonna look better when i add more because it's gonna cover more but no especially if you're getting older like it will settle into your fine lines it will just build up in your acne or your pores or whatever um and it doesn't look good so putting on like a really thin layer 
of light BB cream, which just looks like skin. It actually doesn't look like I've got anything on right now. So now to cover my spots, I'm just going to take a paint pot. This is from NARS. It's the Ginger Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Ginger. Um, and when you open it, it looks like this, so nice skin tone colour. And I just used the EXO Beauty Flat Top Eye Brush, which is nice for applying concealer lately. I've been using this a lot. Um, but anyway, I thought to do this video because I had some exciting news. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spot it on and then just, like, not put too much, but, like, literally look at that. It covers the whole pimple. Like, it covers it so well. You, This is full coverage, too. You only need, like like one dot um but anyway i thought of doing this video because i had some exciting news so i did have a video put up last week where i talked a lot about um and like my last two videos i've been talking about manifesting things and some things exciting happening for me and this was just one of them um so i finally had the courage to go and apply for a modeling agency now, these guys aren't just a modeling agency, they also do TV film and production. So they do like films um, on set, they do music videos, they do series, they work with Netflix, HBO, um, big brands like Farmers and Bend On, and yeah, a lot of a lot of big things. Like they've done commercials for BK, they've done commercials for Beds R Us, like they've done so many like cool commercials and stuff in the past and I was like okay I'm gonna apply for this modeling agency and now there is a few but this one stood out to me because it didn't seem daunting like I actually had a really good feeling about this one and this one is the largest agency in New Zealand and it's also the longest agency to run in New Zealand so it's 25 years old so it's been around for 25 years so they've got a lot of experience in the tv film and modeling industry um and it just didn't seem so daunting and it's so cool because like you get more like lots of workers being an extra or like doing roles for like series and movies and stuff and anyway i, I applied and i heard back literally this is the first agency i applied for i literally heard back within half an hour well, it was like 40 minutes and I was like what the hell like that was crazy so that was a sign like that was a really good sign and they said oh, I'm more than happy to talk to you about signing you up so I was like oh my gosh that's really amazing and then I just had my interview on Thursday so recently like a few days ago and it was in Auckland so I had to drive that's the only thing like everything's in Auckland so I'm going to be traveling traveling a lot more on the road but yeah so i had my interview it was about like 25 minutes it went really well i spoke to um Wyatt, who's the recruitment person and she's so lovely we got along so well and she said that um she could she could see me doing all three divisions so promo print and runway and i'm tall enough for runway which is really cool you have to be a meter 73 she measured me at, it said I was a meter 74, but I'm actually a meter 75. Um, that was just the, maybe the tape measure, but yeah, I still qualified for runway. So I was like, wow. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been approved and I've already had so many emails come through like with opportunities, which is insane. Like to be an extra for Shortland Street and like um, to be an extra for Taika Waititi's new film um and like a role playing like this girl um in a movie like a same-sex couple like a sex scene um but it doesn't mean i'm getting these like these are just the opportunities that come to my inbox now and you can apply and say yes you'd like to do it or no and then all the people that say yes they are available and want to do it then they, it gets selected down from those people so yes but oh my gosh already some really exciting opportunities come in there was already there was one for like a bend on lingerie photo shoot for it to be like 34 dd cup size i'm literally like a b or c so i was like well i can't do that one. Oh my goodness like already such cool opportunities there was one today that they were doing like to be a shortland street extra so yeah i'm probably gonna apply for one of the shortland street ones that come up soon i'm sure they'll have plenty of those because you know shortland street's filmed every day and they always need extras so that would be so fun 
Um, I used to watch Shortland Street back in the day as well. It's a New Zealand, if you're not from New Zealand, it's a New Zealand drama. And it's been around for years and years and years, like probably over over 20 years. It's really cool, like all these opportunities. And they're just for like mostly the t like film and stuff, like film and TV stuff. But um, if they want you specifically, they will email you. Um, so they've got a portfolio. There's like 11,000 people in this agency, by the way, and like three or 4,000 are classes extras. Yeah, so this really exciting stuff. And I'm going on the 11th of April to get like headshots and get my portfolio made up. I'm gonna do like a runway audition walk. So I need to practice my runway walk. Um, she's gonna film me doing a walk because they've got like a show coming up, but doesn't mean I'm gonna be selected for it. Like the fashion people just look at the videos of the models walking and they'll choose their um, best one. So we'll see how we go. Anyway, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Longwear Concealer Palette. Um, so this is really nice. I'm gonna use this shade here. As you can see, I've, it's nearly gone, which I'm gutted about. I need to find another cream concealer. I've been really liking these cream concealers. And I'm just gonna put some with that same brush under my eyes because my eyes are bloody so dark and so annoying. <laughs> So I'm just going to put some and look, it like brightens up the whole eye area, which is nice. You don't want to put too much on because we don't want to crease. I am going to be practicing my runway walk and it doesn't mean you're going to get jobs all the time just because you're in the agency. It just depends on the clients and what they're after, the look they're after, the kind of models they're after, like even when it goes for like TV and film. Um, if you apply, they like look at everyone's photos and portfolio and they see from there as well. So we will see how it goes. Runway is always something that I thought was really cool. I've actually practiced like walking down the hallway pretending I was on a runway since I was little. So to be able to actual, actually do it would be insane. Um, it would be really nerve wracking, but I think I'm at that stage in my life where like I'm 29, you know, this is my last year of my 20s, like, you gotta live it up, and by the way, in the modeling world, there's no age limit, really, you can, you, there's no age limit, like, you can be any age, as long as you look the part, or whatever, like, you can even be, like, really, like, much older, like, in Cam, they've also got models that are, like, in their 60s, even the one that's in, like, their 70s, um, so, yeah, you can be any age, but when it comes to getting booked jobs, um, and they want like a youthful person. It doesn't matter how old you are. It just depends on how you look. So obviously I'm 29, but I could like, I could still be classed as like 22, 23, um, because I am quite youthful. Um, I've always had like a younger look. It's funny because when I was younger, everyone's like, oh, you look older. And when I'm older, everyone's like, you look younger. So I can never win. Okay, I've got like a brush here on my eyeball and I can't get it, so. We're gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so what I've learned is less powder products, the better. So the more glowy, youthful skin looks better. I came across this recently. I bought this so long ago and it's still all good. This is the, I'm gonna be a bit bougie, the Chanel Soleil Tandy Chanel um, bronzer. So this is like my bougie makeup. This is when I was obsessed with buying makeup and I wanted like bougie product. And I can't believe I haven't actually used this because so many, I still love the smell of this. So many people were talking about this. And it's so nice and natural, this colour. There's no, like, shade name. It just says, oh, bronze, universal. Bronzing makeup base. So I'm going to use the same sponge. And I'm just going to dab it on like this. I'm going to just dab that on. Oh my gosh, like why haven't I used this sooner? It's so, so pretty. Here, here look at me using bloody Chanel, me being bougie. <laughs> but anyway, so I just got an email today saying that my headshots are booked in for the 11th of April and then the, I'm gonna do like a walk. They've got a show coming up, so I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and yeah, this is gonna be so cool. Like they've done so many movies, like all the movies and series you can think of that are like in New Zealand, but also, internationally and overseas but they also worked on like Avatar and Narnia, Lord of the Rings, um, The Rings of Power, um, a lot of like Jason Momoa and Taika Waititi's films, uh, just heaps of series on Netflix as well. They've done so many like 
yeah it's it's really cool what they've done um and it's so cool that i'm a part of it now and it's and it's awesome i put up a story and i really appreciate all of those um people those of you who um replied and um uh, congratulating me and wishing me luck and success um because yeah this the modeling industry and i guess the tv and film industry is always something that i've kind of wanted to get into so i feel like this is a good first step is to be signed with an agency and be able to get opportunities and just put myself out there and life's too short you know to care about what people think or if you're gonna make a mistake like who cares it does not matter <laughs> it does not matter i don't know i'm ready for it and even if like things don't come of it the universe is trying to tell me that it's not meant to be not meant to be and that's okay so we've got this this is the charlotte tilbury glowgasm beauty light wand um, and pink gasm so this is a cream blush and it's stunning i don't want this to turn into a full makeup look but i'm looking so glowy and flawless right now it's crazy so if i was to go to the gym i would literally do this exact makeup look apart from not cream products i just do powder and i don't put on a bb cream i just cover my spots model makeup to me is really clean glowy minimal um and effortless and skin that looks like skin so that's why we're not using much um powder products by the way i've already done some modeling in my time like technically what i do as a content creator like i do reviews and photos and videos for brands that i i upload but they also use it for like their website and their socials um as well and i've i've done like a few professional shoots before i've been on a um ad commercial for thin lizzy twice so i'm actually like used to it and i guess i've, I've done glow up so i'm kind of used to a whole like production team and stuff i'm not like completely new to the industry and i do content creation so i'm always getting photos i'm always posing i can talk to the camera really well so like i'm not like a complete newbie like i i know what i'm doing i just need more experience and confidence um so yeah by the way i'm using the hollywood beauty light wand easy highlighter from charlotte tilbury in the shade spotlight so anyway i had a photographer reach out like at the start of february and i've only just got back to him but he does like headshots and fashion shoots and lingerie shoots with like beautiful girls and um he reached out and i didn't get back to him and i've only just got back to him today and we have booked a shoot for the 14th of April. So I'm gonna um, get some cool like lingerie shots and just get out my comfort zone. Like I'm not like I'm not, not used to doing lingerie, like I've shot that before, but Matthew, it's either me in my own room filming it or getting photos of myself, or it's Matthew getting photos of me in my bikinis or somewhere, or lingerie, like I've done that before. And I have uploaded some lingerie photos and bikini photos to Instagram, like that stuff doesn't faze me. Obviously you'll always get people like that might judge you, like that know you, not like people that you don't know. It's more so people that you know that might judge you and be like, oh my gosh, she's like uploading that kind of stuff. But like they're gonna have to get used to it because that's what models do. They are exposed to the fashion industry and they need to, you know, show their body. They're a model. So I don't care if I'm judged if I start to upload more of that stuff because that's just, I guess, the nature of the industry that I'm in. And it's really exciting. It's an exciting time. <laughs> and the Rimmel Kind and Free Pressed Powder in the shade Light. Um, so I didn't want to use a powder foundation because it's that would be a little bit cakey. I'm going to use my Gross Powder Puff. I still have this from Glow Up, that TV show. <laughs> I took it from the set because I was like, that's an amazing powder puff, I need that. <laughs> so I'm going to put just the tiniest bit of this under here and just on top, just to prevent creasing and to set it in place just a little bit more. And I'm just going to set my smile lines in a little bit just here. This just will blur the pores a little bit and stop like the BB cream from like going into your fine lines. Also add a little bit of coverage as well. I'm just like up here. Okay, so now brow setter. We're going to take the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Okay, so we're going to put this on. Brush the brows up. We want those model brows, model looking brows and they're normally really minimal. I'm so glad I stopped doing like the spiky eyebrow trend. And like super dark eyebrows like that did not look flattering at all and my brows look so much better i think it's just very much equivalent to my glow up is how i do my brows like i made them thin the thin eyebrow trend came back and i'm so glad that i like 
actually looked at my brows and was like, fuck, they're thick. <laughs> You know, I was like, mm. and they were just uneven and messy and just not a vibe. And I know, like, in the model world, they also like you to have really thick brows. But I don't know. I think I suit this better for my face anyway. Comb your hair in place as well. If you want it, like, really slicked back and get your, like, little sideburns and... Just brush them in place like that. I do add in a little bit of brow, so I'll take my Benefit, but precisely my brow pencil in the shade 2.5. I've been really liking this one at the moment. My brows are like pretty thick, like I don't really need to fill them in. They're pretty even now as well. It took me so long to get them like that. Um, but all I do is I just add some in the tails here and just extend the tail a little bit, and I feel like that elongates the eye a little bit more so I will just yeah add that on and I really want the faded look in the style I've had my brows microbladed which now I highly regret but I have been like adding a little bit of a fade in the front like this with the brow pencil so it does bring them closer together because they say this is where your brow should be, like here to here. So that's why I drew it to the end. And then your pupil up should be your arch. So that part, that part's good. But then my nose, like going up, is not good. Like my brows are way too close together. So I need to, yeah, get rid of a little bit of this. I don't know. That's just the rule of thumb for eyebrows. So I'm just going to wash like the slightest bit of colour in my crease. So I'm using the Winky Lux Coffee Kitten Eyeshadow Palette. This has been my favourite palette ever. It also has a slight smell of coffee. So that is really cool. I'm going to grab this shade just here. And I'm going to sweep this back and forth in my crease. And just here as well. So this is like the nicest palette ever. I've seen one of my favorite YouTubers, Jean Watts, use it. Because it's not, like this color here is so perfect. It's not too orange. It's not too cool toned. It's like such a nice, like, natural brown. Just a little bit here. I actually haven't been using putting mascara on the bottom lashes. And then what I will do is I'll take this lighter shade here called Afogado. We're going to do Afogado. And we're just going to brighten this front area a lot because I feel like brightening the eyes is so important. And I'm just going to do some under the brow bone as well, like just a really light wash of white. And because I want a little bit more glow, like I feel like that highlighter, I mean it's still glowy, but it's not like exactly how we want it. So I'm going to use the... Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Highlighter in Heat Wave. Look at me using all these like luxe products. I don't mean to guys. I just realized this whole collection is like high-end products. But you guys can just use any products. You don't have to use like these high-end products. So look at this. Stunning. Oh my god, these like little hairs keep floating. This is so beautiful and it smells like sweet i don't know what it is i just love the smell of this glowing skin is what we want you don't want matte dry looking skin glowing skin is where it's at okay next step is to curl the lashes so we're going to curl them we're going to curl them i don't know where this lash curler is from but it is like the best lash curler that i've tried it's so easy to curl your lashes with. So yeah, I'm so excited for new um, experiences and just getting out my comfort zone. I watched this podcast yesterday and it was so good. It was all about um, getting out your comfort zone and stop letting your limiting beliefs take over your mind. Your mind is so powerful. So if you tell yourself that you're not good at something or you can't do something, your mind will literally find every reason to believe that. So if you start saying, oh, I'm confident, no, I can do that, oh, I'm not nervous. Like, if you literally, you can train your brain. So 
if I'm like, oh, I'm not nervous for that, I can do runway, oh, that'll be so much fun. Like, you literally change your beliefs. And that's what stopped me from doing this for so long. Like, I could have done this so long ago, but not really, because living here and then also working at a full-time job, nine to five, it doesn't really suit the lifestyle if you are working like a full-time job and then trying to do modeling work it's hard because it's like all in between the week and everything so you need to be flexible so i'm at that point in my life where i'm like super flexible and i can actually do these things which is really excited like i just really exciting like i feel like i've just like worked up to this point where i'm just so flexible and that's why i get annoyed when people are like when are you having kids when are you having kids i'm like are you kidding me like if I had kids, I wouldn't be able to have all this freedom and flexibility. Like, I wouldn't be able to do modeling. I wouldn't be able to work on sets. I wouldn't be able to do production. Like, I couldn't travel just wherever. Like, you can travel with kids, but fuck, that would be a nightmare and a mission. Like, and it would be so expensive, depending on where you're going. But it is more like you're worrying about something else. Like, you know, I just feel like my career is just starting to blossom even more now. Like... And my social media and being online and just only being self-employed for a year like you know like i'm not thinking of that like i'm just thinking of me right now and it would be more selfish to have kids when you're not ready so i'm only 29 guys my mum had my sister at 34 and she oh she had me at 34 and my younger sister at 35 so yeah and it's actually more normal now to have kids later in life um well, it's actually, they say it's best to have kids in your 30s because you're more, like, ready. You know who you are more. You're more settled down in your career. You're more financially stable. There's nothing worse than having kids when you're not financially stable. And right now, I'm spending budget on traveling, guys. So, don't get me wrong. I can't wait, you know, until when we do have kids. Like, you know, I'll be so cool. Like, I know I'm going to be the best mom. Like, I'm, I'm so ready for that in time. But, because, you know, I've done early childhood for so long. I felt like I've been a mum to everyone else's kids for, like, nearly 10 years, so. But anyway, um, oh, what else to talk about? Oh, by the way, I'm using the Winky Lux Mascara Extrava, Extrava Lash Mascara. The packaging is a bit weird on this one, but, yeah. I'm just going to do mascara on the top lashes, and I'm not going to do them crazy long. I'm literally going to do a little bit and focus them on the outer corners because it's all got that cat eye effect. So yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just feeling really happy in my life right now. And so is Matthew. Like, we're just wanting all the same things. We want to travel. He's wanting to focus on getting back to work because he's been on ACC for so long. And he's so proud of me that I'm going, like, after my dreams. And he literally... <laughs> He's literally always called me model. He's like, my model. He always says that. And it's so nice and sweet of him. But like, he was so proud of me when I um, got signed. He's like, oh, because he, he already knows, like, I, what, with what I do, I'm, I'm a form of model. I'm just, you could call it like a self-employed model. Or like a content creator, that's a form of model. Or an Instagram model, that's what it's bloody called. <laughs> but... The fact that I'm now with an agency and have these chances to do like, you know, working on film and production and doing runway and, and more like print work is exciting. It's so exciting. He was so happy for me. So I love that when you have someone that's so supportive and will just help you on supporting your dreams. Like if you have a partner, if anyone out there, if you have a partner that's not supportive of what you wear, what you look like, what you do... Um, what you do for a job or whatever if they make mean comments about your appearance or whatever that is not the person for you like that is toxic um and i've known of so many people with like top yeah toxic partners that will literally like tell them what to do or oh you can't post that on instagram or oh i don't like you wearing that like so many people and it's actually like that's toxic and controlling but if you have a partner that like literally lets you be yourself and lets you do anything, wear anything, say anything, that's when you know you've found the one. <laughs> and Matthew's just always been so like that for me. I've brought him a lot up in these videos recently, but it's because he's been with me so much because he's not at work. So yeah, and he's been so amazing. He's been like, I'm trying to talk soft so he can't hear me. <laughs> 
He's been so amazing, so supportive. Um, he's been cooking our dinners like every night, and playing with the kitties, playing with our two sweet rag dolls. Because if you have rag dolls, they're like high maintenance and you need to play with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's just been so amazing. I'm actually going to miss it when he goes back to work, but it's going to be good for him. Anyway, what's happening in your lives? Like, please tell me down below. Is there anything exciting that you guys have done recently or that you're looking forward to doing or that you want to do? and you just are like too nervous to do it or you just haven't got around to doing it let me know i'd love to start that discussion down below in the comments not many people like talk about things in my comment section anymore i think it's just like how it is like people just like the video and then that's it like i guess like people are just so busy these days or they've got like such short attention spans i'll just watch like a little bit of my videos and then they'll kind of like skip out of it and not write anything but i miss your comments guys like if you want to comment something comments like i will reply to everybody even if you have any video requests just let me know down below next step is blush him lipstick like this is a creamy lip and cheek stick from max and louis i worked with them not long ago and i did a photo shoot with them and i love them so much for that they literally just made me feel so confident i had so much fun on that shoot i was like on such a high so i feel like that also that is the reason why it kind of sparked me to be like shit like i want to do modeling that was so much fun so it looks like this and this is the perfect your lips but better color so you just want to wash a color on your lips and this is why i'm glad i get lip filler i haven't had it in a while but if you've got nice voluminous vol voluminous lips then you don't have to worry about um lip liner and you just use your finger and just go like this okay i'm gonna use some of this on my cheeks oh i'm just gonna go like this on my finger and warm it up and then okay that's good oh yes i like that see that pop of color like i feel like i need color in my face um so yes exciting things for me and i didn't want to say anything until you manifested it like i had the interview booked for like a whole month and the fact that i even got like an interview was exciting um you know and the fact that i went in and they're like oh all three divisions i was like this is amazing <laughs> this is amazing um so yeah that was really cool um it's not as strict as other agencies of course some agencies are like after a particular look and yeah they're after a particular look um or they're really like fussy on who they get as models but i haven't heard that great things about like some of the other agencies so this one just felt right it didn't seem daunting they did tv and production and the fact that they messaged me back within 40 minutes i was like it's gotta be you guys you know it's gotta be you guys first one i messaged got back to me so quick i really thought about who like i was gonna message because i don't just want to message anybody you know it kind of helps as well that i've already got my name out there in the industry like with what i do online and i already have a social media management no sad cowboys um that's the agency that i'm under and yeah tony was actually the one who was like you should apply to do modeling after after i did that max and louis shoot because i did the max and louis shoot separately and then i worked with them on an instagram campaign which he helped manage um and discuss like rates and all that so so yeah he um was actually the one that was like you should apply and gave me a list of the top five and i searched through all of them and cam just seemed less daunting less daunting and a little bit more like i don't know it just felt right and the fact that they have like a yeah like do all the film and production and the air commercials air commercials is where it's at by the way guys like as a model if you're just doing like little runways and little shoots like you actually don't make that much as a model um i would probably make a lot more doing what i do being a content creator not probably yes you do you make a lot more being a content creator where the good money is at if you were to do it um is commercials which is really cool because i love commercials anyway i was like i want to get into commercials like, how cool is it being like a on a tv ad even though like i think being on online is really cool because um 
because more people are online these days like not many people are watching tv so you're probably better off working with a brand like online like for example i did like a big campaign for colgate and i was like the face of colgate for like three months and um, and i even had people like when i went out to a bar i was like you're the you're the lady from colgate because like it popped all over their tiktok and all over like facebook and instagram and then i posted it and they posted it from their account so yeah that, that was really cool so instead of like being on a tv commercial it's like online kind of thing but yeah it would still be cool to be like on a tv ad even though lots of people like i said aren't watching tv that much these days but that's where the money is at as well tv commercials it pays really well you get like thousands of dollars for tv commercials like it's insane um, you can get a lot of money, like up to $20,000 for a commercial and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly take, I should've done this before the mascara, Light and Sweet, this shade here, I really like this. I just dab it on with my finger and just put a little bit of, a little bit of this on, just to add a bit of, like, a little bit of a pop of something, something. When I do this makeup, I honestly feel the most prettiest. Um, so yeah, hopefully you, girl, you girls and you guys, you girls, you girls and you guys, whoever do this, feel really pretty and beautiful, as you should. Um, and this is perfect for just like running errands, going to the shops, leaving the house. Like when I do this like quickly, and I usually don't do like the BB cream and I don't do like the liquid highlighter underneath or the liquid blush. I just literally do that blush stick on my cheek. So you save like three steps. So it literally takes me 10 minutes. I do it for the gym. I do it whenever I leave the house um, because my motto is you just never know who you might bump into when you leave the house. And that is that is literally coming from businesswoman like that is a quote that they always say always look your best no matter what no matter where you go um, always look your best because you just never know who you bump into or who you might come across and it also makes you feel motivated for the day like I always feel motivated for the day when I wear makeup I know it's like midday right now um, and I'm about to go to the gym late again this looks really good it looks really glowy and I feel really pretty so Hope you guys like this video and hope you guys like this little chat on the exciting news that I'm now a signed model and signed, yeah, to be like an extra in like TV and production and commercials and stuff. Um, really exciting. Watch the space. I will be posting like stuff that I do on my Instagram, specifically my Instagram story. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, please do. It's just Alicia Jones with two S's. I'll leave it down just here. Um, so yeah, follow me over on there um, and also on TikTok, follow me on TikTok as well because I always do like get ready with me videos, like the makeup videos and I'll probably do some more of those or like little vlogs um, of me doing things. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like chit chat videos. I've been enjoying like just doing my makeup and talking to you guys like that's something that I've just missed doing and I'm doing a lot more of it recently. And subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time and YouTube shorts every single day. Um, help me get to 80,000 subscribers. We're actually not that far off 80,000. It seems like it's taken so, 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 so long to get there. But YouTube shorts has been really good because it actually reaches people. And thank you for getting me to where I am today. It's not only the mindset and like the determination and the hard work it's also from you guys like if you guys didn't follow follow me watch me comment like my stuff like i wouldn't be here so thank you so much i love you all um i hope you guys have a great week and i'll see you in my next week's video bye